does Emily suck? Emily is releasing in under 10 days from now in Genshin Impact 4.8 second phase. This means that she will be the last introduced character right before Natlin and the last character to be released from Fontaine. Emily is going to be a Dendro Polearm character and generally she's going to be pretty great despite what the title begs to ask. What I might argue is she might be one of the most boring characters and that statement doesn't even come from me but from many of you guys that have commented and reached out on my videos. That's right, I read and reply to them pretty often, so if you haven't already, like this video and leave a comment for me to see what you guys think about this. Emily has the ability to be a fantastic sub DPS with great capabilities and good dendro application. Her uptime is excellent and pretty much always has the Lumidos case on field as long as your energy recharge is within line of uptime. Not to mention, you just use the elemental skill and then you use the elemental burst to recharge, you know, you can recharge the elemental skill anyway, or resets it rather. Even if she has that going for her, her teams are limited, but so are many other characters. Who only pyro characters thanks to burning buff she gains, right? And it's not something small either, but rather a large amount of damage comes from that buff. Emily just needs a pyro character on hat on the team at all times. And just that the buff is just quite significant and it makes it a little more tricky for her to be on certain teams. Mostly this part is pretty straightforward and people don't disagree that having a new way of dealing damage is fun and playing with burning might be a great adventure. Though with every great adventure comes the conflict. The conflict is that not a lot of people resonate with the way that Emily is designed. I'm not sure how they want a perfume enthusiast to be designed, though as it's been shown, I guess it's not up to their standards. Many think that she is a boring character, and to some degree, I do think that her playstyle is kind of linear, but so are many other characters in the game, it's just how the game is. I personally think she has a great design, but I do agree that she does lack some sort of oomph that makes her stand out from the crowd. Maybe it's the perfume thing that's sort of throwing me off, but she just doesn't strike me as an interesting character at all. Not as interesting as a character I've seen barely for 10 seconds that got me straight hooked like Kinnich or the curiosity on what Moalani's abilities are and her kit, like I've seen a shark, that is, I've seen it, I've seen the shark and I'm very interested if that's actually part of her kit or just as some sort of like movement object that we can use in Natlin. In any case, she just seems to be missing a desirability factor, so does she suck in the way that her kit is? Is she pretty bad? Well, no. Her kit is pretty strong, as long as you have burning occurring. So having a pyro character just solves all your problems, as long as you have that going along with Emily. That shouldn't be too much of a problem because pyro characters are a plenty in this game and you won't have a problem having a pyro character as a support. You can use multiple characters, whether it's Dia, whether it's the main driver, such as Arlecchino, or Klee, or whoever it is, Hu Tao even. Any character that can apply Pyro pretty often, Xiang Ling. I know, I'm sorry, I said Xiang Ling. I know, she's everywhere. Ah, help me. <laughs> yeah, so Xiang Ling. You could even use Toma. Toma has been on the rise recently. I've seen him on so many teams, especially if you have a C6 
of Toma, he just does a lot of buffing, which is really, really nice. And the shield up time is just there at all times. And so it's so nice to have Toma. All right. So does that mean that her kit is actually pretty okay? Well, yeah, her kit is okay. You always have the Lumido case. It's always going to deal the damage that you need to do. And it's just generally going to be pretty strong, especially since it is going to be Dendra. But what is missing? She got the Dendra. She's a polearm character. She looks pretty okay as her design. Well, it seems that even with all of this, she still is a boring character. Well, that is what so far is the consensus with the majority of the global community. But me personally, I have yet to make a judgment on that. And I just haven't played any quest pertaining her. So I will leave that for another day and leave that judgment on for you guys. I do think that she does sort of you know have that missing desirability factor she's not there's some there's something about her that isn't wow and that's okay and a lot of individuals i'm not I, just what i've read in the comments that they don't like the voice actor or the english version and that's why they kind of just like they feel off put by it and i understand some of that but also at the same time it's just it's just the voice come on now there's so much more to a character that I feel like we can't just base it on that. Again, to each their own, that's that. I will leave my judgment for another day. I will do that and I'll listen to the voice actor once I play it through a quest. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking by for the uh, end of the video. If you guys did like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. And I'll see you guys on the next one very soon. Goodbye.